What is autism? Autism is a different way of seeing the world, a way that few of us will ever be so fortunate to have access to. Autism is a sense of wonder, a curiosity towards the common things the rest of us would normally fail to see. Autism can also be a sort of perfectionism combined with extreme patience, wanting everything, even little things, to be just right and having the patience and focus to make them right. The root of the word autism is self, as in a person stuck in their own world, but those of us that live close to someone with autism know we can share that world with them. Part of what makes it seem like a person with autism is stuck inside themselves is an inability to communicate basic needs. What do you want, Sawyer? What do you want? Show me. What do you want? You want swing? Swing? No? What do you want? Yeah. Swing? Yeah. That? All right. Yeah. But once those goals are met, individuals with autism feel the same joy and satisfaction as any other person. Autism can also mean unique circumstances, reactions, opportunity, and special equipment, and friendships. Say hi. Hi. Say hello. Hello. Say <laughs> What you need to know about autism is seeing, smelling, and hearing the world differently than you and I. Like going to a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. An autistic individual will hear the sounds of the games playing. They'll hear a dish falling on the ground. They'll see the light in the ceiling flicker. They'll hear conversations and talking. And that can all be a lot for them where you and I can focus on one thing at a time. So autistic individuals may get frustrated and head towards the door and want to go to a quiet place. Other individuals may laugh and giggle and, you know, to calm themselves down. You and I can handle a loud place, but for an autistic individual, it's too much. An autistic individual may have a stronger sense of smell than you and I. So for example, an orange. Generally an orange or a lemon citrus smell smells really, really good. To an autistic individual, it may be too strong for them where it's almost kind of painful to their senses. An autistic person loves, laughs, and cries just like you and I, and all they want is to be accepted and included. Um, I have an autistic boy that name is Sawyer. Well, it's like, um, playing with him, being with him, and then, um, keeps on doing something that's bad to do, but, um, he goes, and he gets something new that's good, and then, um, he likes to play camping with me, pretending he, um, doesn't play with much toys, but he plays with me, um, I tell him play with me, and then he plays with me, but he really listens to me, oh, like, I tell story stories, um, about, um, very good stories, and then, um, I, I think that's it. What autism mean to you? That girl. Hmm? <laughs> what? Whoa. What do you see? Uh, what time is it? It's bath time. Uh, bath time. Alright. Go have fun in your bath.